Good day, Disgaea community. Um, this is the final two-parter of this chapter. Um, if you haven't noticed, each new chapter has more... Like, I guess I should say each new episode has more and more chapters and parts in it. So it's going to take longer to complete each time. Um, this is the worst kind of stage, in my opinion. These long, vertical trudges. Simply because... Um, Unlike I have more power very in my wide finger. areas, uh, Here I come. Ready? Uh, where you can circumvent by throwing and you know lots of shoes and stuff like that. Here I come. Um, vertical, um, often, pretty much no character can throw that high, so you're going to have to get characters with good movement already and just equip a lot of shoes to compensate for the difference in height. And sometimes even that's not enough. Again, why I love the Professor class. Increase your movement or your jump power. Or both. But, um... Each Axel has a clone block. So it's likely that uh, another one will spring up. But also a jump uh, block underneath. And that's... Um... It's the game's uh, way of helping you climb this monstrous mountain. So it's, it's like there's not even that many enemies, but it's, it's still a time-consuming map the first time. Uh, and si again, since it's still an Axel class, I don't know what class it's supposed to be. Um, I'll do a class from a while ago that I could have done, but never got around to. Um, it's the Valkyrie, which is like the female warrior. They're very similar, but there are some differences, and I'll go into that right now. My, uh... Valkyrie I made is the Lindis, uh, Fire Emblem reference, in case you've wondered. Surrender to me. I think she sounded better in previous games. <laughs> but, uh, alright, here's from the guide. While still frontline damage dealers, these women of battle have more options for support and area of effect work than warriors. Using bows for range or spears for versatile attacks, they have many choices for when and where to engage targets. However, Valkyries are limited in boss fighting. The substitution of bows for axes is not a particularly good one when dealing with single, powerful enemies. There are much better ranged classes in the game, and bows just aren't that much of a warrior's forte. Another downside of the female warrior line is that they sacrifice some offense. Any, de any decrease in attack is bad for the frontline people. This is admittedly a small amount that is lost between the men and women, but it's still worth noting. Attempting to mitigate these minor problems, Valkyries get a good default ability. Assault Attack gives a character a substantial buff as they move through a map and continue killing more and more targets. For a well-equipped warrior, this is a massive perk. All told, you won't be hurting your force if you select Valkyries instead of male warriors. Both are quite good, and personal taste is much more of a deciding factor. Making one character of each type is ideal for aggressive players who like to have the perks from each. Besides, it's never bad to have a huge number of damage dealers in this game, especially for item world runs. Of course, the thing is... Um, make, make a Valkyrie, uh, a Valkyrie is needed to make an Archer, uh, which I will review at a later point, uh, a class I have a habit of making, and they're usually pretty good, which I'll get into later. Anyway, you can make Valkyries from the start, and they are, have a foretaste in swords, spears, and bows. However, I'm not sure which weapons they learn all attacks for. I think swords they do... I don't think bows or spears. Um, I think spears are by far the worst weapon in every single Disgaea game, so I would not encourage giving them that. Um, swords used to have more versatility in their area of effects, but now they're primarily single damage, uh, single target weapons. Uh, bows, while statistically probably will be weaker, um, they have a lot of area of effect attacks, and defeating as many enemies in one turn is useful considering uh, their base ability, which is Assault Attack and adds a damage bonus of 10% per enemy defeat. defeated. So, defeat an enemy, your attacks do 10% more damage. Defeat two, your attacks do 20%. So, you'll get per It's similar to uh, Valvatoras in a sense. So, you'll. Uh, it's another one of those classes that can get progressively stronger on a single map by themselves. 
Uh, let's see. Here I come. Average movement of four, throwing range of five, which is good. Uh, neutral to fire and ice, and they are 50% weak to wind. Let's see. The Lady Fighter, which is the base class. Aptitudes are HP 110, SP 70, Attack 115, Defense 115, Intelligence 70, Resistance 80, Hit 110, and Speed 90. So, uh, yeah, pretty decent overall. They, uh, the, the aptitudes definitely lend to either bows or staffs. Um, you know, they're, they're for a melee class, they have appropriate uh, sturdiness and good attack power. Let's see, then we have Lady Warrior, Valkyrie, Minerva Lass, Freya, and Iron Maiden. I like those names. The Iron Maiden has an HP aptitude of 135, SP 80, Attack 140, Defense 140, it's Intelligence 80, Resistance 90, Hit 135, and Speed 100. Overall, pretty good. Um... Physical armor and uh, yeah, physical armor and uh, belts are definitely good accessories for the Valkyrie class. Their second ability, Shield Mastery, um, decreases damage by 50% when receiving a normal attack. Um, you, you know, I guess it's it's cheap, so you might as well learn it. But um, enemies eventually will almost exclusively use special attacks, so unless you're <laughs> like putting the forget status ailment on every single enemy, um, this won't be as useful. Not to mention normal attacks are usually far weaker than special attacks anyway, so mitigating that damage isn't that important. You know, no one near as useful as Fuka's ability to half damage from special attacks. That's a big difference. Next one is Power Shot. 30% of base attack is added to hit when a bow is equipped. A uh, great ability if you're using bows. Obviously useless if you're not. Um, but great to learn if you plan to make a archer class later, as this is a great ability for the archer class to have. Since bows um, do damage based on the average of your attack and hits stat. So the, I, I tend to like these kind of abilities for weapon uh, specialists. And finally, their spear sting. 30% of base hit is added to attack when a spear is equipped. A lot less useful, especially since I think spears are useless. They're horrible weapons, to be quite frank. Oh, that's deceptive. Look, there's a space in between that block and the and the mountain. I hate when the camera here I come. Um, you know, gives a false impression of the terrain. So annoying. Uh, let's see, so that's the Valkyrie. Um, a very well-rounded average class. Um, good base ability, although the warrior is more likely to do uh, better damage overall thanks to its, his proclivity for swords and axes. Um, but Valkyries are still good. A medio, uh, a decent uh, bow user, but you know if you reincarnate reincarnate her into an archer afterwards, you'll have a much better archer. Uh, so, that would be the main reason I would make a Valkyrie. Uh, you know, because you need to make a lot of the base classes to a certain level to unlock a lot of the later ones. That's always pretty annoying. <laughs> and there's not much more to say. They're a pretty average class. Of course, now to find pick a class to talk about for the next section. Mm. Ooh, I know. I also made a, a armor knight, or a heavy knight. And I didn't do that description yet. I can do that. There's also the bouncer, which was a really older class we didn't get into. And for monsters, I can do a shroom, a slumber cat, You know, I, I did a human, let's do a monster. So, let's, uh, let's do the slumber cat. One that I hadn't gotten into. Okay. You know, they, they give you sardine teeth at the beginning, but I deleted her. Although, maybe I was mistaken in 
in deciding that. I don't even really know what this what this class is capable of. Let's find out. A one, two, three. Slumber cats are a defensive fighting class. They may look cute and cuddly, but they're fairly good at rushing into the middle of enemy groups and surviving for longer than you'd expect. Their mix of abilities make it quite hard for, for foes to hit them. Use Trick Move, equip some good shoes, and stay mobile. Trick Move is an awesome ability to learn so that other characters can inherit it. Evasion-based defenders like Ninja have a great time with Trick Move. Obviously now I have to I've got your back. what Trick Move does. So I'm just checking my four, uh, four mi minister progress. Uh, these are my characters that went to other characters' senates. And look, I received a vinyl cloth as a bribe. That's nice. Uh, let's see here. All right, their base ability, Calming Aura, halves damage taken from monster type units. Uh, any any ability that isn't a damage ability but halves damage of a certain kind is nice. Since half the characters in this game are monsters anyway, uh, that's not bad. Although, when I get into their aptitudes, it's kind of a mixed bag considering their defensive aptitudes aren't particularly astounding. You know, it's not like the Wood Golem where they have all these HP regenerative abilities and a huge HP stat. Uh, but let's see, the next one is Cat Step. Gives the character a 50% chance to evade attacks made by enemies at a lower height. Um, that could actually be quite nice, considering they do have a good speed stat. Very annoying. If, if you're going to prioritize... Oh, I'm just resetting for a better approval rate. 61 was pretty good. 63 is better. So yeah, some people want to see more of the Senate. So it's just some guy's basic warrior. Nothing to fear. I can just give him an item if I feel nice. Although he didn't, he didn't favor me more as a result, which is odd. Must have the gold bar, but that's a waste because everybody wants a gold bar. Save that for really tough monsters that you don't want to fight. Uh, remember, if you're curious of whether or not you could take on the Senate, remember all of these monsters have no equipment, so they're a lot less troublesome than you might think they are. Like a level 500 uh, Necromon, it's like, oh crap! Well, its stats are nowhere near as what it would All be right. since they have no equipment. Approved, dude! Trick move. Next ability. Raises evasion bonuses by 10% for each panel move that turn. Uh, combine this with Cat Step, and actually, yeah, you would have a pretty damn good evasive class. And even if they did hit you, Calming Aura would take effect if they're a monster. Come together, these are pretty good. And that w I could see that being useful for giving to a ninja because they... All attacks from the front are f have a maximum chance of hitting a 49%. Uh, not bad. As long as the abilities compound like this, uh, this might be a worthwhile class. Finally, there's Rapid Movement, which adds two movement when the character's SP is at the maximum. Um, that's handy if you're to give to a Mothman for the purpose of, item, of the item world. Actually, I should really teach my Mothman this move. <laughs> that, is, that would be handy to have, yes sir. Alright, so the Cat Saber, which is the default class. We have an HP of 80, SP 90, Attack 110, Defense 90, Intelligence 80, Resistance 90, Hit 110, and Speed 120. I'm glad the speed is the highest, but remember, um, you need to get to Tier 3 to learn that other evasion ability, and I think that's when the Cat class would be the most useful. Then we got the War Cat, Kate Sith. Grimalkin, Elbaki, and the Lord Cat God. Lord Cat God. Seems a bit redundant. Okay, Lord Cat God has HP of 90, SP 115, Attack 135, Defense 115, Intelligence 90, Resistance 115. Oh, he's level 6. Uh, hit 135, and Speed 145. <laughs> 
The attack is decent, and they do have uh, an attack with the power of S. Okay, that's just weird. All right. <laughs> All right. I miss my ball buster. Um, but these are good to pass because every time, if you put a character in this, a certain stat will level up a lot more when they level up. It's nice to have. All right, so the clat. Oh, get this. Uh, they change into a gun, and I would list the resistances, only um, the grid for that is blank. Brady Guide Strike Again in Incompetence. It's astounding. I keep finding new typos in this game, and this isn't even a typo. This is just... It, it's just gone. It doesn't exist. How shitty is that? Wow. I should make, like, I should, like, compile a list of all the typos in this game. No, I shouldn't. That's a waste of time. Okay. Why, wow, I almost did another class before I even got to the final fight. Alright, the final fight and the confrontation with Axel in episode 6. You haven't transformed yet? Such persistence. Why wouldn't you just accept it already? Could it be that you're just shy? Are you just too embarrassed to show your excitement? I'm just embarrassed, period. Damn it, I am a lady. Why would I want to become an idiot like you? Desco doesn't want to be an idiot. Desco wants to become a final boss, and then... Stop calling me an idiot! Can't you feel my reason, intelligence, nobility surging into your bodies? You understand, right, young master? Following the corrupt men's orders and turning into me is the most righteous thing you can do! Sorry, but I want to become a great demon! Ah, you too? Hey, wait a minute! Are you saying that I'm not a great demon? Shh, whatever. No matter how much you resist, there's no turning back once you've contracted my virus. You have no choice but to be me! You! Don't you feel the guilt of your sin? Don't you feel anything seeing all of these people suffering? Well, it's not like I don't feel bad or anything. But evil is justified in its own evil way. It's not up to us to decide whether this is really evil or not. Hey, there's no point in trying to talk sense into that idiot. Uh, Desco is very close to transforming. Don't give up. I don't remember allowing anyone who would give up before the battle to join my party. Keep fighting till the end. I'll make you a promise right now! Even if you all turn into Axel, I will find a way to turn you guys back to your original forms! So... So don't give up until the end! <laughs> How much longer can you keep it up? Just turn into me so you can relax already! My turn will last forever in this nether world. <laughs> Get it? Turn? <laughs> Axel, Axel everywhere, so let's all have a drink. I'm Too bad for him, it's only level 5. Oh, this is a good song. Of course, Axel himself has a pretty nice amount of HP. And his ability doesn't help matters either. Thinking about it, if you were to magic change a cat saber onto Axel, they would take 50% less damage from every single unit with their compounded abilities. Not bad. So the axes on the side are just fodder. You can probably even ignore them. Uh, the only the only threat is the actual Axel. Of course, I'm just fusing to get the much bigger area of effect. Okay. 
Okay, where was I? Slumber Cats. Uh, first skill is Cat Kick Teaser. Powers E. It's a standard melee attack. Point blank, single target. But at least the power is E, not F. So, that's nice. Then we have uh, Kitty Cat Hoop. Uh, hits three in a row right in front of you. Uh, power is also E, but you know you get to hit three people. That's nice. Sky Surfer, which I think is a Eureka 7 re uh, reference. It's got a power of D, and I think it hits all adjacent units. I really hate those kind of attacks. They're very situational. Uh, use it to take advantage of wind weaknesses. And then, finally, Bell Volcano. Uh, it can range of three in any direction, and the power is S. So, while th this is... Any, any monster that learns an S attack is very nice. So I guess it is a decent um, combination of speedy evasion and power. Um... You know, not as crappy as I thought, but just just not something I wanted to use. I mean, if you, you get one at the beginning, and if you bother to make it as good as you can, it might be a pretty good unit. Uh, speed is like the only decent defense stat in the in the late post game, since it doesn't really matter what your defense and HP is, you're gonna get one shotted by most character skills. So this. So the class could potentially have some uh, late game promise. And it's got five movement from the base, which is very nice. So that means if you move your maximum amount of turns and you don't even have a pair of shoes equipped, you will increase your evasion by 50%. And if you're at a higher level, again, 50% uh, more evasion. Very nice. Uh, magic change attacks, their gun moves. So Fishing Cloud has... <gasps> It, it's got an area of effect like Fuga's Glorious Hitter. Um, powers E, it can hit four tiles away. Um, you're probably not going to use this attack that much. And then there's Hairball Incident, which... I think it's a cross... No, 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 not a cross. Uh, an X. So it hits uh, five enemies, and it can hit six tiles away, surprisingly the power of D. And that's handy because there are no other gun skills that have that kind of area of effect. So, all in all, cats, uh, the slumber cat. Uh, oh wow, and the jump power is even 35. Uh, I'll show you. sounds better than I initially took it for. Probably one of the better Press base yourself. monster classes, actually. Just by the sounds of it. Um, I don't have extensive... Um, play, play time with the class. Obviously, I've made every single monster class because I made that exhibition video, but I only really made them for the purpose of seeing their moves. I haven't really used them outside of my good old slime and wood golem in a much longer period of time. So, rather than trying to go all the way to Axe, I'm, I'm going to lure him to me. Of course, now I have no idea which one it is. Which one is it? Oh wow, I actually get to use the entire burst special burst. Here I come! This situation like never comes up. Crazy. Alright, so I guess the real one is taking a piss on that tombstone over there. Dad, running over a tombstone is bad luck. Really? I thought good luck. So I'm gonna try to surround her with units to increase her attack. That's a great idea. Yeah. Wow. I, I guess it counts as a side attack because the evasion is 63. I mean, the hit chance is 62. No, not enough. 
I'm just getting her out to increase his stats by a little bit. Had I learned her other ability that lowers all enemies' evasion, that would have been great. attacking a lot, is it? In fact, he even kind of put himself in a position where I can attack him better. I only have 18 SP. She's going to revert back to normal after this. Had a best go about this. <laughs> 27. Darn his speed. all the hard cannon shots. And that, my friends, is episode 6. See you in the next chapter. <sighs> Don't even think this is over. As long as the A-Virus exists, the second, third, and even fourth me will keep coming back. Good! That idiot has been defeated. How's everyone doing? Desco's body feels hot. Mine too. I can't do this anymore. No, nothing has changed even after the original has fallen. This means... If only our Lord's logic was correct. A terrible misfortune. Damn it. Get a hold of yourselves! Where's your spirit? Toughen up! Don't you have a mission to accomplish? My mission? M my... I'm... I'm... <sighs> Look at you guys! Damn it! Hey you! We didn't get better even after we defeated the original Axel! You turn me into this! How are you gonna take responsibility for this nightmare? Your consciousness is still present. 
You're mentally tough. I don't want you to be impressed. If I have to look like this, I wish I would have lost my consciousness too. Ugh. Even if I confessed my love to a boy under a legendary tree, my love would never come true. Dusko. Dusko doesn't care about anything anymore. Who cares about being a final boss? M my leg and chest hair are perfect now. Lord Val, please don't look at me. Please consider your loyal servant, Fenric, to be dead. My only wish is that my master, Lord Valvatoris, will not succumb to this infectious disease. Do not give up, Fenric. I will find a cure! How? You're gonna transform sooner or later too, you know? Then there won't be anything you can do about it! I'm not going to give up! I made a promise to find a cure no matter what! Oh, forget it. We're all gonna be idiots. It's fine. I forgive you. It's not like this was your fault. Shut up! I'm not giving up. I won't give up yet! I promised you that I'd take you to meet the President. I promised Desco to train her until she becomes a final boss. I preached to Rascal about how important it is to keep your promises. Am I going to break a promise now? Am I? Well, am I going to helplessly break those promises again, just like that one time? I have no choice. Huh? What are you doing? Shh. Can you please just keep it down? Please, drink this blood. Huh? This blood? But... Just do it! What's going on? My body is... Uh, I'm back! I'm a lady again! I'm seriously back to normal! What does this mean? Why did you do that with just your blood? The blood of angels possesses the power to purify any impurities. I should have contracted the virus long ago, but I wasn't showing any symptoms. So I gave it a shot. Looks like my theory was right on target. My blood will counteract the A-Virus. Thank you, Artina! My name is Volcanus. I thought I told you that. Okay, fine, Volcanus. Can you please share your blood with my little sis? I mean, Desco and the rest of our party? No! What are you gonna do to me? I feel better than ever! Shut up! Did you forget my rule? You vowed absolute loyalty to me! Ah! St stop it! Don't you dare disobey me! Ah! There now. Please go right ahead, Doctor. <laughs> no problem. Uh, it feels as though Desco had a super terrible nightmare. Why does my head hurt? I'm so happy for you two, and it's all thanks to Volcanus here. You need to thank her too. Really? Miss Volcanus, thank you. Oh, but Desco should question the moral implications of being saved by an angel as a final boss. So you saved us? Uh, hey, 
You're not gonna charge us, are you? <laughs> I wonder... What about you, Mr. Werewolf? You would never accept my help, would you? So this is your payback. <laughs> I'm just joking. Here, please drink it. I won't show you any gratitude. I wasn't expecting you to, so it doesn't matter. No, thank you. I'm fine. Why not? You're going to transform soon. <laughs> I'm not scared of any viruses. I'll force it out of my body with my spirit, fortitude, and the power of sardines! Are you scared of drinking my blood? That you'll break your promise? know about that promise. Oh, well, that's too bad. I wish you luck with your spirit and fortitude, Mr. Vampire. Uh, wait! You knew your blood was the cure to the virus long before you stepped up. Why didn't you come out with it earlier? Angels are forbidden from wounding their own bodies by Celestian law. So you broke the law. Why would you do that? Was it so that our Lord wouldn't have to break his promise? Are you, in fact... I did it all for the money, of course. Please, don't misinterpret my motives. All the blood I gave you guys will, of course, come with a price tag. My blood is quite expensive, you know. Can you afford 880,141 hell multiplied by the number of people here? That's so freaking expensive! <laughs> of course. And that's with a generous discount. But... I know you don't have that kind of money right now, so... I'll just have to tag along with you until you can afford it. You guys better rest here for a bit. I'm gonna go make some money. I should be able to make a ton from all the infected people in this world. That's what she says, but... Desco can tell. That lady is actually a good person. She even broke the law to save us. Oh, now I'm in her debt. What a shame. However, we have to accept the fact that she saved us from that crisis. Yes, my lord. Regrettably, it is what it is. I shall take my frustrations out during the next battle. The next battle, huh? Has the time finally come? To battle the Netherworld President? I'm counting on you, Fenric! Understood. All is for my lord. After exterminating the mass-produced axles, we head for the Netherworld's Mother Temple, the executive office of the President! Ooh! Finally, a normal preview? The President is basically the head of the Netherworld. Ever hear? Better to be the head of a sardine than the tail of a sea bream? Huh? So you're gonna talk about sardines after all. It's an idiom that means it's better to be the leader of a small group than to be a peon of a much more powerful group. That's correct. But herein lies a huge mistake. There are over 200 kinds of fish in the world with the name Thai, but only 100 of them are considered to make up the family. Compared to that, there are 300 kinds of sardines in the world. It's an overwhelming victory for sardines. In other words, we shouldn't be using sardines to symbolize the smaller group. You should now think of sardines as the bigger, more powerful and awesome group. As expected of my lord, not only the history of the netherworld, but you've now changed the meaning of an idiom as well. Next time, 
final episode. Aim for the head. The final runoff for Netherworld President. Rebellion kick. I'm gonna be the president. <laughs> <laughs>